Okay, Dave, so this is the inspector, and he's going to show you the uh, area to shut the water on and off for the sprinkler system. And Okay, here we go. Okay, this is the shut off. Okay. His side's the left side. Mm -hmm. He needs to keep that side clear so that he can uh, access it. Okay, there it or is. Your right side, I guess. It's it should be my area. right. There okay. you go. So that's right at the curb, okay? Mm -hmm. This is the shut off for the sprinkler. Right shut off for the sprinkler. I know it's not very lit up. Okay. That's the right one right over there. That is a pressure regulator valve. Okay, pressure regulator's in the middle. Don't mess with that. Don't mess with that. Okay. All right. This way. I think I got bit by a fire ant. All right. These are uh, solenoids for sprinkler systems. For the same sprinkler system. Okay. Okay, so let me show you that in relativity to the house. There you go. And what does that do? What does that do? They just they control certain sections. Oh, control certain sections. Okay. See, there's your stones. They look good. See that? They're all done. This is the primary circuit breaker box. Shut off the entire house right here. Okay. Okay. All these are 220s. This thing called the subfeed goes to the circuit breaker box in the garage. All right. He's concerned about it being outside. Cable phone lines right here. All right. Back floor valve for the sprinkler system. Mm -hmm. That's all that is. Wheat mm -hmm. holes, those little slots you see, are uh -huh. wheat holes so mm -hmm. the house can drain when it builds a condensation between the brick and the, uh, there's a uh, moisture wrap around the house. Okay, and just so you know, the, the uh, sprinkler system, the valves have to go with the poles yes, they go to be open, them. okay? Mm -hmm. And if you want to close them, yeah. There's your ground line. Ground okay. Wire, two of them. There's the ground wire. Ground wire. Okay, it's okay. So that's normal. All right. Okay, so he'll have to check it every year to keep it sealed. Okay. That's the vent for the uh, microwave, which is the exhaust vent for the uh, cook pot. Okay. Okay, that's the vent for the microwave on Do this. Do not seal these wheat pots. Do not seal the weed poles. You can just spray stuff in there to get rid of the bugs. That's correct. Or um, there will be uh, pesticide people will put uh, screens in there sometimes. Okay. The bugs out you can put screens somebody. in there if you want, Dave. GFCI right here, and I'll explain that here in a minute. The GFCI here. Mm -hmm, here mm -hmm. as well. Hose bibs. That is a conduit that goes to your sprinkler box, which is on the other side of the wall. Conduit for the sprinkler box, okay? More weep holes. More weep holes. Oh, we want to know what one of these things is. What is that pipe up there that... that... That's a secondary condensate line. I'll explain that here in a second. Okay, okay, good. Now, these two lines right here go to your water heater. Okay. Whenever dripping water, you need to call a plumber. That means you got a problem So with water those heat. should not drip water. They're right by the AC unit. GFCI right here. For your Christmas lights right there. All right. And you have a GFCI here, one in the front, one in the back. They're all reset in the garage. All reset in the garage. In that panel? Or is there a panel in there? Or? Just a plug. A plug. You will show that to me? All right. Two and units. You have a condensate line right here, which should be dripping water, which it is. <clears> and you have another condensate line. You have two of them because you have two ACs. Okay. Now, you have a secondary condensate line there. Okay. If that's ever dripping water, then you need to call somebody. So the one at the uh, soffit, soffit is going to be not, you shouldn't have it dripping any water, okay? The that's other one should. the one should. that's in the attic. It's for the AC that's in the attic, and there's a pan there. So if this one of these gets clogged up, then it's going to drip into that pan and leak out there so it doesn't damage your sheetrock. Okay. So we don't want that dripping. Another expansion joint. Another expansion joint. Because you have two ACs, you have two secondary condensate lines. So you have one as well. Oh, there's another one right there. So that's for the in the attic as well. 
That should not be dripping. There's one in the attic, one upstairs. Oh, that's the upstairs this one. one. Might be in the closet upstairs. So that should not be dripping either. Correct. All right. If it is, you got to call an AC guy. Call an AC guy or call the warranty. GFCI. GFCI. Now, we'll go back around to the garage. We'll go over all the warranty information with him when he gets here. Okay. No warranty on the landscape. No warranty on landscaping and fence. That's the rain gauge. Yeah, that's correct. That just tells you, like, it'll shut the rain, uh, it's a rain sensor. It'll shut off your sprinkler system if it's raining. Sewer access line. Sewer access. Right by the garage on the left. All right. Now, you have your reset right here. Yeah. Resets all throughout. Okay. Now, one of these may be dedicated... GFCI. Okay. I don't know if it's tied to the outside one. That means you have that tied to this and probably the ones on the side. But he needs to find out which one isn't tied to the outside if he has a refrigerator he wants to use in the garage. Okay. Because otherwise it'll shut off all the other refrigerator with that. Water heater, the two lines I showed you over there by the AC. Mm -hmm. One is a drain pan, the other one is a PT valve. That opens up, it's going to release water, water is going to drip outside, and if you've got a problem with the valve, or you've got too much pressure in there. Okay. Okay. All right, and is there some kind of like thing where you're supposed to pour stuff down your AC, like a bleach type deal? Mm -hmm. And I'll show you that when you get there. Okay. And, oh, you see some tags, okay. All right. Here's the other. Circuit breaker box. Uh huh. Everything's labeled. Okay, everything's labeled. See that? All right, looks good. Side here. Here we are. Right behind you is the security panel. Mm -hmm. and somebody will con contact and try to sell a service to it. Okay, they're gonna. That'll work without any kind of service. For just the front door opening and closing, uh, or right? Or any, any exterior door. It'll make a noise. Correct. Okay. You have uh, your uh, utility room here. There's your washing hookups. There's your drain. Mm-hmm. Okay. I don't know why this tape is here. Oh, uh, I don't know. It was around the something. Oh, it looked... We weren't sure what it was. That's what it was. Okay, that's a clean, that's a clean out. Okay, so basically you have... Your washer drain line here, it's a two inch pipe that goes down here, bends back up, and it goes across. This is a clean out case because it goes into the foundation. So if you ever get clogged up in the foundation, you can put your auger down there and go through. Okay, so he doesn't have to attach anything to that. No. Okay. He needs to pop this out when he gets his washer. Okay, but don't touch that. Don't touch that. That's only if you have a problem. Mm -hmm. That's All your right. exhaust vent for your dryer. You put your, your silver thing on that, right? Correct. Okay. okay. Your lint. Your lint. Your there you go. Right there. Yeah, your lint. That's right. All right. Reset button right here, GFCI. Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. I check all the, when I come in the house, I always plus the toilet to turn on the water and the drain pipes and all that. Just to see what's happening. We'll go to the master. The thermostat here and one upstairs. Each thermostat? Each different uh, AC. That is a low voltage feed to the security system. Okay. That's it. You don't have to do anything with it. Just, just, just leave it there. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay. In every bedroom, you have a smoke alarm here. And then right outside the bedroom, there has to be Carbon a monoxide? And this one's carbon monoxide. And one of the main areas are carbon monoxide. Okay. However, they're all connected. So when one goes off, they all go off. Oh, gosh. All yeah. right. They all have a 9 volt battery backup. They have to be replaced every year. Every year. Oh, they start chirping at you. Yep, and then you're not going to be happy. Okay. Go upstairs. <clears throat> oh, 
Okay, upstairs. This is the access to the attic, which mm -hmm. will take you to one of your AC units. Okay, so one of them's upstairs. Mm -hmm. The other one's in this closet. I'll show it to you. Okay. You have to change that filter out. That's a 14 by 30 filter. It has to be changed out every 30 days. 30 days. Yes. Okay. All right. Um, this bathroom has its own GFCI also. Okay. They will clean all this up, right? Yeah, I did that when I went up there. Oh, okay. It's just insulation. All right. And I had to go up there just to check to make sure it was slowed out. Okay. All right. You have one unit here and one upstairs. One upstairs, the filter for that is going to be right there. Okay. Up in the attic. I say upstairs, but in the attic. All right. You have this one right here. Mm -hmm. filter's right there. Mm -hmm. 20 by 20. Both of them have to be changed every 30 days. Now, what you were talking about, the clean out, there's mm -hmm. one right there. You pour one, was it one cup of bleach, one cup of water down there, correct? Bleach first, then water? I've, I've heard multiple things, so All right. you find out. Is that uh, I've heard fourth of a cup is enough. But, All right. Uh, well, that's what, once a year, right? Sometimes once, sometimes I've heard twice a year. Twice a year. All right, right down there, right here. Okay. And I always do it at the end of the AC season, especially, because it's going to sit there. There's like a pea trap in there, and the water's going to sit in that little pea trap, okay? Mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. the mildew and mold. So that's why you pour it down at the so end. So it can of the get year. clogged, and then you got to get a guy in to unclog it. What a pain. Mm -hmm. This is the secondary. I mean, that's the primary. That's the secondary. So you do it in both? Yes. All right. So there's nothing up in the attic he has to crawl up and yes, do. There is. Oh, there is. Another unit uh, upstairs. Ah. I wasn't sure if this one was tied to that or no, something. No, they're separate units. So okay. You this one, and one of them's the primary. Remember the two? Right. Lines I so there's you? one up there that's got that. Correct. All right. And it's floored out, so it's easy to get to. Okay, so you can and, walk and to it. And this stuff's not always going to fall every time. This won't fall every time. But you just pull that down and then go up there. And, and you'll see the area. Oh, you okay. Can't miss it. Okay. I think that's it. Um, let's go to the uh, kitchen. All right. The walls are still marked blue, just so you know. It's all right, I'm making you dizzy. These things they have an indicator. I turn it on to make sure they work. This indicator will tell you which burner is hot. Okay. Because okay. it's flush, almost flush with the counter, it's easy to confuse that and make you know, put stuff on it and make it burn. All this is is the inner ring and outer ring device. So if I turn that on and I want it to be the whole big giant ring, then I turn it up. If I want it just to be the inside ring, then I turn it down. Okay, so That's this is this goes. is the inside ring right here. Correct. And when I go up. It's going to heat up the outside. Okay, room. okay. Maybe bigger. Vent, which is. There's vents to the, to the outside. outside, we saw that. Bet. Okay. And it's got the conduit right there. There it is, right there. The ductwork. That's good. Not everyone has that. Nope, I don't. All right. Your dishwasher, I always run it when I get here just to make sure there's no leak. Mm -hmm. and make sure there's something special comes up, which it does. There's no leak. No leaks, that's no good. Leaks. Um, let's see here. You're looking for the key to the disposal? I'm looking. Where would that be? It would just be an Allen wrench, so, uh, and, and if they just bring it up, make sure that we have that key. It's not it here. here. I thought I heard something. Nope, that's the drain. That's the drain. So well, there's an Allen key. It's a huge one, and you just go underneath there to the disposal. Should be in there. With that you would think, cause it, you know. Usually it's in there with the hardware. Let me open this bag. Huh? Well. I think that's it. But they'll get them. They'll get them. Now you have uh, GFCIs all around the kitchen. Okay. So like uh, this plug way over here. Uh huh. If I uh, see if I can find my. New tester? Yeah. So I put that in here like this. Okay. Okay, so you just look and find the red light, which is way over there. There's your reset for that plug. So he'll just have to kind of experiment with it. Okay. This one. Same thing. Okay, so it's this one over here. Mm -hmm. He has to reset. So my guess is you have a standalone right here, and mm -hmm. then these two are connected right here. 
Okay. So that one's connected to that one, and that one's by itself. I think that's it. Okay, and can you just tell, tell us who you are? I'm Steve Vickers from Veritas Building and Construction Consulting Firm. Third party uh, inspector. Mm -hmm. Okay, and you're in the local area if he has any questions. Uh, he wouldn't talk to me, he'd talk to the builder. The builder. Okay, great. Thank you. You're welcome.